Hey everybody and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. So I'm starting this on Tuesday, not Monday, um, because yesterday I was really busy, didn't get that much reading done, and it is 8.30 when I'm starting this clip because um, I had a lot going on today and um, I was doing a lot on my social media, my Instagram account. Um, I've been really active these past couple days. Um, on my story with resources, um, numbers you can call, petitions you can sign, um, funds that you can donate to. So I'll get into that in a second, but also my grandfather had surgery today, so I didn't really want to shove a camera in his face when I was reading at his house. But I'm going to get into my this week's TBR in just a second. I'm going to try um, and make this as quick as possible. As many of you know, as should all of you, um, we are what is going to go down in history as a revolution um, currently right now with the black community and the oppression, the police brutality, and the racist hate crimes that have been committed. Um, three of the main ones that are really been that have really been talked about during um, this past week and especially but really um, these have happened within the past couple of months. Um, those being the heinous and unfortunate deaths of Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and George Floyd. Um, so I understand that um, some of you may have seen these videos and yes they are very upsetting but um, they're important to see um, the videos on them speaking about them and the impact that it has on the community. So social media is definitely a very differing factor between now and how this might have been 60 years ago. So this means that we in every community and especially those with privilege um, have platforms to speak and need to amplify the voices of the black community. So I'm going to have a couple, uh, a video and a kind of catch all page linked down below where you guys can, first of all, the video is linked to Prince EA's video on police brutality, which I think is so important for so many people to watch. I've always had such strong agreements with what Prince EA has to say. And this video once again, did it beautifully. And I feel like did it justice. So if you have the time, it does speak on police brutality and um, it's a really, really great and important one. And second, that um, page link that I will have um, down below at the top of the description um, is for a couple things. So there's protester bail funds, um, research that you can do. So I know a lot of people have been asking to better educate themselves for um, books, audiobooks, movies, TV shows, articles you can read. So I feel like um, that sums it up pretty well as well as there was one more thing I want to say, mention petitions, um, the petitions and the bail protester funds. So I know I'm kind of all over the place, scatterbrained, but I will have it more articulately laid out in the description. So please check that out. It is all I ask and this needs to be addressed. So with that being said, we're going to get into the rest of this week's vlog and I'm sure um, it will be talked about later in the video because it's going to be part of this week and hopefully next week and weeks to come. Um, so yes, we've got our bullet journal, which I finally ordered a new bullet journal um, because I have this many pages left, which is about 10, I believe, and the back like two. So really just that. Um, and these are pretty thick pages, eight pages. So we've got a couple things. So my June TBR went live a couple days ago. Um, so that kind of addressed my new way of doing my TBR and I've picked a couple books from that list. So the first being Waiting for Spring Volume 1 by Anishin. Anishin? I don't know. I will definitely have it figured out by the next clip. But um, I'm actually buddy reading this with my friend Abby. So that is the first thing. I feel like that should be very light, fun, easy to get through. Um, and then we have the final book in my reread for the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. I am 68 pages. There's my little fairy bookmark. 
um, of the way into this already. I'm enjoying it. Um, I've talked with another booktuber about this, but um, a lot of people don't like A Quarter Frost and Starlight. I enjoy it, especially for what it is, um, bridging the gap between the first trilogy and hopefully the second trilogy. I haven't heard any updates, but then we have The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshi. This was supposed to be a um, like book club buddy read um, with you guys, actually, and especially on my Instagram. This won the book, and it was supposed to be the first week of June. We're the second day into what should be the reading schedule and i don't know if um i am going to do a live anymore um i might just talk about it in this vlog you guys will obviously know by the time this goes up if i ended up doing it or not because i don't feel it's appropriate or really important at this point but um it still is um a really great read and i wanted it to pick it up because i've heard a lot of great things and i enjoy a good fantasy so We'll see if I end up getting to this this week. If not, shit happens. So there's that. Then we've got a couple other things to address because um, I did start picking up audiobooks. That's kind of a shock. Um, I addressed it again in my May wrap up, but I picked up Clockwork Angel on audio and I actually loved it. Um, I feel like Cassandra Clare's books translate really well in audio. So I have picked up Clockwork Prince, which is the second book of the Infernal Devices, and I am 46 seconds into the introduction. Oh my god, that scared me. Um, 46 seconds into the introduction and I'm listening to it on two times speed. So um, that will just be something to listen to as the week goes on. I have a lot of stuff I need to get done this week, like Tory kind of tasks. Oh, also I wanted to do my bullet journal spread. Um, once my bullet journal comes in, I don't know if that'll be this week or next week, but whenever that happens, I'll be able to listen to my audiobook for that. And then I am finishing up right now the ebook for I'll just show you. So it is the Goddess Test by Amy Carter, and I am 91% of the way done. I probably will finish this tonight just because I want to know what happens. Well, I kind of already know what happens, but also, like, I don't. I think those are all the books I'm reading, which is kind of a lot. Okay, I think that we're cooking with a lot better lighting now, but um, I don't even know if I dress this. I got a new camera, so I hope this is better quality. Um, fingers crossed, I don't know what I'm doing, so yeah. Sorry, I'm having a really hard breathing week. I don't know if I've ever addressed this in a previous vlog. I do have asthma. Um, I am on inhalers for it, but um, still some days are pretty tough. So I will check back in later when I'm hopefully cleaning or doing some reading. So, okay. So it's the next day. It's like 11.53. And I'm going to paint my nails and you are also balanced on my bullet journal. So can't really check that for what we're doing today. But um, I've made some progress on a quart of mist and or not. I need to stop with a quart of mist and beauty. A quart of frost and starlight. I'm on page 114. I don't remember what I paid those on last. But I'm anticipating probably finishing this today. Who knows? But I haven't started Gilded Wolves or Waiting for Spring and I did finish um the goddess test and i think while i'm painting my nails i'm going to maybe listen to a little bit of clockwork prince because um it's either that or i don't really know do something else but that'd be like listen to a podcast or something and i'm not really in the mood for a podcast i also don't know if they're like i listen to a few of the same Oh my gosh, my dog. I listened to quite a few of the same podcasts, so I don't know if I don't know if they posted anything. I have to go over to my grandpa's later today to help take care of him. So I'll probably finish a quarter frost and starlight. Then also my nails are I don't know if you can see them. Getting like incredibly long. Which I'm kind of pleased about because usually they break really, really super duper easily. 
and I use the SE polishes a lot. These are like their gel line. Um, but today I'm going to use Pacifica because it's 100% vegan and cruelty free and that is something I like. So I started re-watching Avatar because they put it on Netflix, which was so nice of them. I really appreciate it. And, um, that's been consuming a lot of my time. <laughs> so we'll see how that works out. But yeah, I hope you guys are all staying safe. Staying as happy and sane as possible. Yeah, that's the check-in for right now. If I can get like a decent way in Clockwork Prince and then finish A Court of Frost and Starlight, at least in this vlog, I would be really, really pleased. Still at the same spot. So we're gonna go and read that. I need to plug in my phone. And I'll come back once these bad boys are done. Okay, so again much later it is 7:25, 7:52. sorry um and i finished a quarter frost and starlight there goes rocco i finished a quarter frost and starlight not too long ago i gave it four stars it's just i don't know i feel like it's just a really fun read i feel like it's a great kind of conclusion um to the trilogy series and then we get to start off with the next one so i enjoyed it and i really felt like this bookmark that was in april's fairy loot was very fitting i swear he is the biggest attention seeker he doesn't want anything like he's eaten he's been walked he's been played with he's just not having a good time yeah i really liked this bookmark for the book i thought it was fitting but um now that it's a little bit later and I've already read that. We have some choices to make. So I could either pick up Waiting for Spring Volume 1, which could be fun, but I'm not really in the mood for it, like right, right now. Or The Gilded Wolves, which I still have not decided if I'm going to keep, like, continue on with this for the reading week buddy read. I need to decide if that's going to be a thing or not. Um, and if it's not... Um, I feel like I need to decide that like tonight because I don't want it not to be out there that it's not happening. But what I'm really in the mood to do right now is A, kind of pick up and clean my room a little bit. Um, and then after I'm done with that, I'm kind of in the mood to bullet, whoa, I'm kind of in the mood to bullet journal, which I really haven't been super into it, but like within the past couple like weeks, well, yeah, I would say so. I've gotten kind of back into it. So, um, TBRs are not like great, my spreads or anything. And like, this is an example of where I'm at right now. If you guys want to see where I was at like a year ago, that was my wing that I drew. Cause that's like how I kind of imagine Illyrian wings to be like, well, obviously more red, but I kind of wanted it to be purple. This was one of the spreads. I never ended up like actually stenciling in the lilac flower blossoms. Boom. That was when I was really into Teen Wolf because this little orange thing is a kitsune. I drew like that. I don't know. I'm trying to show you guys that like at one point or another, I was good at this. And then I just kind of like hit a wall. Like this was so, I loved this. So I just took like um lunch bag from my lunch and after i was done with it i ripped it up and stuck it in here yeah i don't know i was really really into it oh i can fill in this i don't know <laughs>
Okay guys, so it is Thursday. It is almost one o'clock. I finished bullet journaling for the night last night while listening to Clockwork Prince and I am on. The script is a little bit harder because you can't really like find out what page you're on. If you know how to do that, let me know. I'm on chapter four. So I am like two hours into the book. I've got 13 hours left. So I'm gonna keep listening to that today because I'm gonna bullet journal a little bit more later, um, like details and stuff. Uh, I'll show you a little bit later on when I'm actually working on it, what I ended up doing last night. Cause I drew some really cute stuff and I have like these watercolor pencils that I was like trying to figure out how to work, but I don't know, I think eventually I'm gonna wanna buy like actual watercolors instead of like these pencils. But I picked up Serpent and Dove this morning because I put it on my June TBR, like after I made my TBR video, I was trying to think of other books that I could read. I also didn't know that Serpent and Dove was like part of a, a duet, a series, whatever. Um, so it's a duology. And I was also including in my let's visit hogsmeade like prompts into it so my battery's flashing at me so i'm gonna have to go um but i am on page 27 of serpent and dove so i will see you guys a little bit later okay i was supposed to update you guys a little bit earlier but um i fell asleep at 4 p.m so it is 9 30 now i'm wide awake let's update you guys also my bed is made it hasn't been in the past couple clips i guess i can show you guys what i did the other day that's i do look well i wanted to say thank you um we're in kind of um a really monumental moment and on instagram and uh yeah, primarily on Instagram. I was gonna say on Twitter, but I don't know how to use Twitter. I really should figure it out one of these days. Um, I've been really trying to stay as active and vocal about um, the Black Lives Matter movement and trying to get as many resources and promoting it and vocalizing it and I'm trying to be an ally as best as I can. Um, and I didn't really want to take away from that um to make this about something that is so ephemeral fleeting i don't know if that is the right word or the right thing to say but um yesterday night i hit 100 subscribers and i wanted to say from the bottom of my heart thank you so much to every person who has subscribed to this channel who has liked a video or left a comment i respond or like or love like heart um every comment that i get and it's one of my favorite parts of making these videos is being able to communicate and talk with you guys and i have found that i really like this content creation and i love not only filming videos but editing them and uploading them and well uploading i can do that but um like the process but editing them is like one of my favorite parts of making videos. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. It really means the world to me. Um, when I started this channel two months ago, I would have never thought, you know, besides my mom, anybody would subscribe. So um, thank you guys so, so much. And it, I just wanted to say thank you. So now that the sappy time is over, um, I, believe i let you guys know that i was picking up serpent and dove which is kind of a thick boy um i am 37 i have not picked this up really since earlier because i just kind of got um sidetracked i was like doing a lot of errands i had to go pick up my car from the dealer because it was getting an oil change and my windshield um was cracked and splitting so i had to get that replaced yes i'm looking for a pen um so i was doing that i was just kind of running all over the place we're home now and 
see that's the thing like i was like oh okay i'm finally home for the night i'm gonna be productive i'm gonna film a video and then i saw that um in my like recommended video was uh one that i haven't watched from mads asmr who i love and i was like oh i'll just like lie down and like kind of try and chillax because i was a little tense from running around all day and i was like i'll just watch an ASMR video, maybe chill out a little bit, and then I'll get to filming and stuff. And by the end of the video, I was asleep. So I don't really know what happened. And I need to pre-film some videos because I have like kind of a busy week next week, which I also should probably start mapping out. Oh, I also ordered a book today um, from like one of those like um, I think they're called third-party sellers It's not directly from the publisher or like a mass retailer. I don't know if that's the right word I might be sounding like a whole idiot but I ordered from one of them today and Because I've seen like you can order from them on Amazon Which is what I did because I love Amazon and I get free shipping. Um, so I was looking into it and it was like one of those um, listings on Amazon where it was like you could pick the condition that the book was in and it would tell you. So I've been looking for this book. Hopefully it'll come in the mail by the end of this vlog so I can unbox it. But I was looking for this book for quite some time and I could not find it anywhere. And if I did find it, it was like $27 and I was like, I know I could find it for cheaper. So I paid $6.85 for a hardback. Yeah, I'm gonna do my spread for next week. And then I also kind of like combined my June TBR with my um, Let's Visit Hogsmeade Magical Readathon because the ever productive G from Book Roast has somehow conjured up another magical readathon. And I'm like, April was like a minute ago. So I picked five prompts because there are like 10 books that you could ultimately read like prompts that you could read that would equate to a book i chose five of them because i could not read 10 books in a week i would be fried by the end of it so it is from june 22nd to the 28th i'll have the announcement video linked down below i don't know if i was gonna extend it like through the rest of the year not the rest of the year the rest of the month um but i haven't decided that yet so that is it for right now um i'm either i think i'm going to turn on a little bit of clockwork prints because i have not made any progress since i last talked to you guys on it i also need to plug in my phone which is usual i'm at six percent still on chapter four um so i think i might do that while i do next week's like weekly spread um and then i am going to figure something out so i will check back in later hi guys it is i believe it's friday not too sure um i just finished filming a video it's getting quite hot in my room um so i thought i would update you i'm like on chapter six or seven of clockwork prints for my audiobook um, I have not made any more progress on Serpent and Dove since then, but I did pick up and finish um, a novella by Lauren Blakely, I believe, and it was Lucky Suit, and it was just what I needed. It was short, sweet, wasn't super graphic, if you know what I mean. Um, so I really, really enjoyed it, and I think I gave it four out of five stars, so that was like it was so super short. I think it was like 200 ebook pages. Um, so I've been kind of working it out and I think I'm going to save Waiting for Spring Volume 1 for the last week so I can put it in there. Um, and I officially postponed the Gilded Wolves um, read a, reading buddy read. Um, I updated it on my Instagram account. I will have that link down below if you guys want to follow it along. Um, and... I talked about it in the video I just filmed, which will be going up today, but today would have been um, Brianna Taylor's 27th birthday, which is definitely, it just sucks. It's so unfortunate and uncalled for and it never should have happened. Um, and it all comes back to issues that we the people need to stand up and fight against because first of all, I know knock warrant, I'm sorry, I think anybody can agree that if somebody barged through your door at 3 o'clock in the morning, some 
I, in the middle of the night, wearing civilian clothes, nobody would react a good way. So it's so deeply aggravating and frustrating. And um, I will have petitions linked down below. I've been saying this since the beginning of the video, but as the week progresses, new things are coming out and I just wanna keep talking about it. I think I'm gonna go lie down for a little bit and then import the footage from the video that I just filmed edit and upload it hopefully by like 10 o'clock tonight and see where we go from there so i will check in later okay guys so it is friday night it's 9 30. i was editing my video and my computer was like low battery so i was like okay i'll just go get the charger and I went to go plug it in, and then my computer died, and it wouldn't charge. Like, I was trying all of, like, the different ports on the computer, because so I was trying that, and it wouldn't work, and I tried switching it to different outlets, and I only have one charging cable, because they're friggin' expensive. I don't even know how much they are. I don't have a, like, Mac store, what are they called? Genius Bar? um an apple store near me really the nearest one i think there's one two hours away because i bought my computer from best buy so i made an appointment to go to a best buy tomorrow and see if they could figure out like if it's the charger or the computer but i was in the middle of editing and i can't edit now so my video is not going up today it was supposed to go up yesterday it's not going up today it's hopefully gonna go up tomorrow if I can figure it out. I'm sure they're just gonna like get a new charger and if the charger starts working they're gonna be like your charger didn't work here's a new one. So I'm pretty sure they're like kind of expensive right? And I was trying to import my footage from my like the previous vlog clips that you'll have already seen. I was trying to import those too and it, it wouldn't import because I didn't have enough disk space. I don't even know what disk space is so at the end of the day, I'm really not qualified to be doing this. Like I started reading. So I got asking for a friend. Lucky Suit was just so good and it really got me in like a uh, I want to read romance mood. I'm going to go read a little bit more on my phone. Okay, this light is flashing at me so I want to go. Okay guys, good morning. It's Saturday, like almost 11 o'clock um, and I'm gonna wrap up the vlog for this week here because I don't think I'll be doing um, too, too much more reading. I have an appointment to go hopefully get my computer fixed and I looked to see if there were any like genius bars open. Like the closest one to me is two hours away and then the next closest one is like two and a half hours away and there goes my dog barking okay the dogs are gonna be barking in this next clip but we're just gonna have to ignore it somebody pulled up so um hopefully i can get my computer fixed today and then tomorrow i'll be editing all day um so i won't really have much filming going on and then um i picked up asking for a friend yesterday and i'm on page 279 out of 384 um i'm liking it serpent and dove i haven't made any more progress on and then i never showed you guys my fully completed spreads i think well not fully completed but i just like touched up them a little bit um so i can show you guys um so this was my like page spread um it's for june and i need to add like some red and pink but i tried to make it rainbowy for pride and it really didn't work out like i tried putting pink in places um pink and red but then it just kind of blended and like doesn't look the greatest so i'm gonna try and fix that and i'll show you next week my june tbr my magical readathon little section audio and physical for days red and then um my next week's thingamajigger spread so that's what i ended up working out um my camera battery is flashing at me because it's about to die so yes uh i hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog sorry it was kind of all over the place because 
this week was all over the place um but next week should definitely have a little bit more reading in it because i have like another drive to a doctor's appointment so i'll hopefully be listening to an audiobook or reading oh yeah that was the other thing i didn't update you guys on clockwork prince so i think i'm on chapter six or seven i'm in the beginning of chapter six and then obviously I also finished A Quarter Frost and Starlight, which I was really happy about. I completed my whole reread and I can go back on my shelf. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good day and I will see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.